They say that photographers aren't multi-million dollar athletes, and it's safe to say they're right, but that doesn't mean we shouldn't keep in shape for our work days. As a former college and professional athlete, I'm gonna share with you three of the most relevant exercises for wedding photographers. Mm, 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 mm. So good to be seen and it's even better to see you. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna be discussing something a little bit different than gear reviews and tips and tricks on Lightroom. After shooting a few weddings, I remember coming home as if I had just played three out of five sets of tennis in the heat and my feet were absolutely killing me. We photographers may not be out there on the gridiron for 60 minutes taking hits, but eventually long events like weddings can definitely take a toll on your body. In today's episode, I'm gonna share with you three exercises that I think will go a long way to cushioning the blow that is marathonic wedding photography. Number one on the list is the Zotman Curl. One of my favorite exercises is the Zotman Curl because the range of motion is similar to the movement that we all take when looking through our viewfinders. This works because this curl combines a conventional bicep curl and reverse curl for an awesome two-in-one movement. This way you'll target the biceps and the brachialis with normal style curls and also hammer your forearms with the reverse curl position. As photographers, we're always reaching for our straps constantly and lifting our arms to the eye line of vision and can find ourselves doing this hundreds of times a day, which is why our arms can get heavy during six, eight, and maybe even 10 hour work running days. If you're not already implementing this into your workout, I highly recommend it. Your lenses and battery grip bodies are gonna be lighter for longer. Number two on my list is the lunge. If you're anything like me, you sometimes like to get low to get the most out of your shot and into the composition. Doing so can take a toll on your legs, more so one over the other. The lunge is a great movement for developing the thighs and threatening the hips. The muscles used in the lunge are the same as those utilized in the squat, but the lunge provides greater range of motion, allowing more substantial glute and hamstring development. You can try both the stationary as well as the walking lunge when attempting this exercise. Both are gonna be great for you in the long run. Number three on my list is the Arnold Press. Also one of my favorite for shoulder days, the Arnold Press, coined after the Governator, encompasses a wide range of motion that'll help you strengthen your boulders for wedding days. Hold two dumbbells under your chin, your forearms perpendicular to the floor, and your palms facing you. In the same motion, press the weights up and rotate your elbows back as if doing a normal shoulder press. In the top position, your arms are up, but not locked. Your palms are facing forward. You'll have to use less weight than you do for regular dumbbell presses, but it's crucial that you do full controlled reps that begin with your elbows out in front. This exercise is key for photographers because the shoulders are carrying much of the heavy burden of photography both reg during regular shooting, top-down shooting, and don't even get me started if you're doing videography as well with heavy gimbals. You're gonna thank me later. As an extra bonus, I'm gonna throw in the cardio for good measure. I personally like to do my non-impact cardio on my stationary bike because I can crank up the dial and really get into a good sweat. Other examples of this may include a version of the Stairmaster at your local gym, or heck, even an elliptical will definitely get you going. If you're up for a jog or run, then by all means, but I prefer the non-impact cardio because I'm tall and lanky, and it's a bad combination for your knees. So there you have it. Three best exercises for photographers like us that could be sprinkled into your routine from time to time. I wanted to take a break from the specs and reviews you're used to seeing from this channel and do something a little fun. Hope you got a little something out of this video, and if you did, stink that thumb you know where. If we are now meeting for the first time, I'd love to take you out again. Hit that subscribe button and make sure to hit the bell so that you don't miss a single one of my videos. My name is Francis. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Appreciate your time. See you guys in the next video.